Happy Monday! Welcome! I wanted to make a little video to show you how I make some handouts that I use in the classroom. We're going to look at how to open Google Slides, how to insert photos into Google Slides, what photos can you use, and then how to turn it into a handout. So I hope this is helpful. Just a little bit of tips real quick and let's take a look. Okay, so I have the dual screen mode that I have my two screens. We're going to work on one screen to make our Google slide and work on the other so that I can just drag and copy super easy. So it doesn't matter which screen you work on. You can work on one, you can work on two. I just love being able to work on two. So I'm going to use this screen to show you how to go into Google Sites. If you've never used Google Sites before, I am on my Google screen and I am signed into my Google account. If I click in this top corner, you see all the little dots for your Google Apps? I can scroll down and click on Google Slides. Click. And it will ask me, would you like to start a new presentation or would you like to work on some of your old? And I'll just click, let's make a new one, please. And I'll click on, let's make a new one. Um, you can select themes. You can select things that you'd like to work on. Um, whenever I'm making a handout, I like to change the format of my slide to just a blank slide so that everything, the text box and everything just disappears. And it's just a nice empty canvas for me to work on. So my Google slide is here and it's ready. I'm going to jump to my other screen and I'm going to grab some photos. So here, is your Google. You can search for free clip art. You could go to Pixabay. If you would like to, you can go to Unsplash. There are lots of different places that you could go to, but I'm going to do a Google advanced search. So when I type in Google advanced image search, it pops up. Would you like to do this advanced search? Yes, please and I'm gonna click advanced search. And I'm gonna just type in cute clip art. Cute clip art, oops. So when I'm here and I'm typing in my cute clip art, sorry, I gotta click my usage rights. So when I'm here in my cute clip art, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and it says usage rights. So it says right now that it's not filtered by license, but since OutSchool is a commercial um, teaching platform, I'm going to go all the way down to my usage rights and I'm gonna say it's free to use, share, modify, even commercially. And I'm going to hit advanced search. So now it looks a little bit different. See, there's this tab right here and it says you are in an advanced search. Woo, sorry, just had a light flicker there. So all of these images are free for commercial modification, sharing, I can use them. So in kindergarten, I'm working on left to right discrimination. So I'm going to click on an image, make it large so that it's nice and pretty and clear. And I'm going to copy and paste. I right clicked and I clicked copy, copy image. I came over to my Google slide, right click, and I clicked paste. You can also use your shortcuts, control C, control V. And now there's my octopus right here on my slide. This first slide was the slide that um, Google Slides wanted me to initially start creating. And I can just hit the back space and say, no, thank you. I don't want that. So now I have my octopus. And if I'm working on left to right discrimination, I'm gonna go ahead and grab another. So I'm gonna grab a fox, let it download, right click, I'm going to copy, come back to my Google slide, and I'm going to paste. And I'm going to adjust it the size that I want. I'm gonna just shrink it a little bit. I'm gonna grab one more because three seems like a great number. Oh, what a cute robot. And I'm going to grab, I'm going to copy, come to my Google slide, and I'm going to paste. And there it is. And if we're gonna start from left to right, I'm gonna get them all nice in a row that I would like. If I don't like the order that my um, images are appearing, you can right click on that image and you can adjust the order. I can bring it to the front so that it's not being blocked by anything around it. You can send it all the way to the back. 
if your photos overlap on each other a little bit and you're like, oh no, my fox is covering my octopus. I can right click it, change the order and send it to the back. And now my octopus is in front of my fox. Just in case you're having some issues you're saying, why is that appearing the way it is? It doesn't matter um, for this handout. Tool options right here. I am selected on my star and I would like to change the color to yellow. Ta-da! I really love inserting um, word art also instead of using text. So I'm going to insert, go down to word art, and I'm going to insert, I'm going to insert the word left. So now it has appeared as word art. It's just a little bit prettier. Um, I can change the font. I'm a, I like the Jua font. So I'm gonna change it to left and I would like my font to be black. So now I have this nice pretty little word that says left and I'm working on that with kindergarten so we can work from reading from left to right. So here is a slide that has been put together and if I would like to turn this into a handout, I'm going to come um, into my top corner of my Google slide. I'm going to hit file. I would like to download. I'm going to click download as a PDF. Click. Loading, loading, loading. And here it is right down here on my computer. When I click on it, ta-da! There is my Google slide turned into a handout. I can download it on my computer to my out school file. Here's my handouts file and I can call it whatever I want, kindergarten left to right discrimination. And then I can share this PDF with parents through the OutSchool website. So that's just one way you can turn Google Slides into handouts by downloading it right from Google Slides and turning it into a PDF. That was really quick, really fast. If you have anything specific that you're looking for in making handouts, just drop a comment. I'd love to be able to help you. I'll make some more um, handout videos, how to turn a PowerPoint, how to turn a Microsoft Word, how to turn those into handouts also. You can also, once you, blah, 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 tongue tied. <laughs> You can also select multiple slides to turn into a PDF handout also. If you just hit select um, once you're in Google Slides and shift and you can select multiple ones to turn into a PDF also. I hope that's helpful. I hope that's able to get you started on the way in the world of handouts. Enjoy. See you soon. Bye-bye.